Hi, welcome to the breadboard. If you've been following along recently, you'll know that I've been running a contest on Hackster.io uh, using my sponsors, Irish Components, Weller, Tektronix, and Arduino, Massimo Bansi. And it's finally come to a conclusion, and the last two weeks we have been going through the entries to try and find out who the winner will be and who will be second place. So this video was just to announce the winners for the contest and also a couple of other bits of information. So without further ado, let's just go in and have a look. First of all, um, with first place, Jan Kumps from um, Belgium, I believe, has put in an outstanding entry, um, very extensive, all about rolling material monitoring. Um, we we'll go quickly in and have a look at his entry here. Uh, you can see uh, it's all about monitoring uh, big equipment like bulldozers and things like that, whether out in the field being rented, potentially not knowing the best times for servicing them and all kinds of stuff like that. So using a quite extensive range of technologies all um, built around the IoT 2020 platform, uh, he's come up with a system that allows you to monitor these uh, large pieces of equipment and send not just service data but also tracking location and things like that through using a uh, Sigfox network to a central control system uh, where they can be monitored, tracked and you could potentially plan uh, predictive maintenance and things like that. Anyway, um, I will provide a link to his entry on the notes so you can go have a look for yourself. Uh, as well as all the other entries. So congratulations, Jan. You are our first place winner and will be receiving a nice set of lab electronics equipment. So the equipment for first prize that Jan will be receiving is a complete Weller soldering station, a Tektronix oscilloscope, a RS Pro um, lab bench power supply, Nipex toolkit, uh, an RS Pro um, digital multimeter and anti-static mat. So that's enough to get anybody started or upgraded in a lab. So the details of each of these pieces of equipment can be found on the Hackster.io site as well as linking through to the RS Components um, links. The second prize is um, awarded to, and forgive me if I get the name slightly wrong here. Interpret Singh. He's uh, based in India and has submitted an entry all about industrial boiler control. Um, he didn't actually have his entry hooked up to an industrial boiler, but he did submit a working um, system based on effectively substitute parts. You can read all about it and watch his videos and everything um, through Hackster.io for his entry. And again, extensive use of multiple technologies and multiple languages for programming the IoT 2020. Uh, he's also designed, as you can see here, and printed um, a new bezel for the IoT 2020 for an LCD display and he's hooking into a lot of different control systems. Anyway, a really, really impressive entry from Indrapreet and congratulations to him for the second prize. And what he's going to receive for his second prize is a Weller soldering iron for his electronics work, an RS Pro multimeter, as you can see here, a Nipex toolkit, and a desoldering tool as well as an anti-static mat. So these will be winging their way to the prize winners as soon as we can arrange shipping and confirm the addresses of the winners. Uh, so congratulations to those two, Jan Kumps and Indepreet. The other thing, while we were going through the contest, we found that whilst selecting the overall winner, which was Jan, uh, trying to actually identify who would be uh, in second place was a bit harder than we had anticipated. Uh, we had probably four um, very, very strong contenders for second place. 
and it was a struggle for us to actually pick one as the overall second place uh, prize winner. So what we've done is I've had a chat with my sponsors at RS Components and uh, Weller and also Arduino and what we're trying to do is put together a prize, let's just call it that for the moment, for these additional three best effort contestants. So I'm not going to tell you who they are yet. I want to um, figure out what we're going to do for prizes and hopefully within the next few days I'll be able to provide a uh, an update video that will let you know who they are and what they will be receiving so basically we've extended this to be a first prize a second prize and three third prize um, contestants is what's going to ultimately be selected but in this video I just wanted to let you know who had won first and second prize because we promised to have it out by today so that is it we have Jean with his rolling material monitoring and Indopreet with his IoT 2020 based industrial boiler control congratulations to both of you and we will be reaching out directly to you to obviously confirm your details for shipping out your prizes um, for the rest of you, there um, was a total of 18 submitted entries, and obviously we can't pick everybody for a winner. There's, um, a few of you did not quite meet the criteria of the contest because you didn't use an IoT 2020. So before I close off, I'll just scroll down here and you can have a look at a few of the other entries that were submitted. Um, as I said, some of these don't quite meet the criteria because they did not include the IoT 2020, so sorry. Uh, that was one of the very clearly stipulated rules that you had to include the IoT 2020 in your entry along with code and schematics and things like that. Um, but some of them here are from Frederick van der Bosch in um, Europe. He submitted one, a game with LCD display, uh, energy monitoring gateway. Um, Nico Twinkle, I think he's in Canada across on the west coast in Vancouver area, um, monitoring uh, fish pond water levels and automatically topping it up and things like that, which is very, very interesting. Uh, could be applied to large and small scale installations if you wanted to. Uh, Nazmo Hassan, a safety assistant for industrial control, very interesting entry, uh, very complete and extensive. Again, um, difficult, as I said, to choose between uh, the different entries for the second place prize. Um, they're all very, very interesting and you should have a look through them. Also, I wanted to say that um, those of you that have not yet um, submitted your uh, entries, even though the contest is now over, uh, I'm sure there'll be a lot of people that will still be very interested to see what you were creating and perhaps learn from it. So. Please, um, if you can, still complete your entries and submit them um, not just to the Hackster.io site, to the project space. Um, there is a section there for the IoT 2020 and um, you never know, you know, you might be getting some interest from people that might want to build them and, and things like that. So uh, don't just think that because it's done, you just pack it up and give up. Just you know, try and complete it and uh, post your entries and uh, we'll be looking forward to seeing them. Anyway, I just wanted to uh, give you that update. Another one will be following soon once I have a bit more information about these additional uh, prizes that we're going to give out. So stay tuned and I will speak to you again soon. Bye.